After many years of denial, Spain and Portugal are finally taking a hint from Greece and making some budget cuts. Madrid announced cuts yesterday, and we are waiting to hear from Lisbon on austerity measures later today, although the finance minister told us yesterday that they were going to accelerate budget cuts into next year. We partner with the Financial Times to bring you Lex on Bloomberg so you can get a sneak peek at the FT's flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford joins us now live from London. Richard, we have seen the contagion spread from Greece now to Spain and Portugal. What are these countries doing to put that in check? Well, you're right about your point of denial earlier. What we've seen is a policy U-turn. For months this year, Spain and Portugal have said, no, our budget cuts are adequate, they're going to be fine. They've seen Greek contagion come to their doorstep, so what are they going to do? They are going to make further cuts, which they earlier said probably only two months ago they didn't need to make. And that'll include... Um, critically a five percentage cut on civil servants pay and in Portugal we're, we're expecting this afternoon to hear that Jose Sox the Prime Minister is going to raise corporate tax to about 27 and a half percent so 2.5 percentage points up and probably um, raise general income tax by 1.5 percentage points so a mixture of, of cuts and tax increases in Spain it's been more a cut story and again they followed the Irish Example, you'll remember we've talked in the past about this. The Irish led by example last December and cut civil servants' pay. Spain and Portugal had last playing catch up. About time too, but what took them so long? Richard, the markets do seem to be responding to a degree. Bond investors, for example, are narrowing the spreads on uh, some of the debt that trades over there. But, uh, mm. you know, how much of that do you credit to what we've heard from Spain and Portugal, and how much do you credit to what we heard from the EU and the IMF this weekend? It is a mixture of both, but I think what we've seen is a, a dramatic closing of, of the spreads on Spanish Spanish tenure bonds over German bunds. They, they've come in from 168 basis points to 103 in early trade today. Even Portugal's have, have come in too, from 311 basis points over bunds to 175. And I think that's, these are very country-specific changes. We haven't seen such dramatic narrowings elsewhere. So it, I, I think all eyes were on Spain and Portugal following Greece. And, and that's exactly what José Luis Rodríguez Zapatero, the Spanish Prime Minister, was in denial, denial about, and, and he's now reacted. Richard, with about a minute to go, speaking of following Greece, do you expect that we're going to see any of the kind of social unrest that we've seen in Greece? It is not easy to get these kinds of austerity measures passed, and the Greeks have responded in a very violent fashion. You're absolutely right. In Spain, Comisiones Obreras and UGT, the two main trade unions, have already indicated that the measures are unjust. So if you like, the denial mantle has passed from the Prime Minister, who was, if you like, afraid of the unions, um, to the union leaders themselves. The same has happened in Portugal. So I expect we won't see such violent unrest, but we'll certainly see ample demonstration against the austerity measures. Richard, thank you very much. That's Richard Stoven Bradford live from the FT's Lex Desk in London.